Okay, uh, good morning to everyone, uh, or good evening wherever you are. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, Asus has just released a new update for our phone, and as you can see, they placed the new update on their website already. It's a 2.51 uh, gig on the size of the update. Uh, as you can see here, it's on a CN, which means a uh, China ROM, but they also have this in uh, the WW ROM, which I will, or the Global ROM, which I will be putting on the description below. Uh, here's the improved item or the change log. Uh, for number one, it enabled randomized Mac feature for Wi-Fi connections. Fix accidental system crash. So for those people having system crash on their phone, this update will definitely fix it. Fix wrong notification issue if user add a SIM card contact after restarting the machine. The SIM card space is full, notification is appeared, so fix that. Fix system optimize service, notification not able to slip issue. So, fix WeChat avatar, fix the problem of abnormal display after switching to classic theme, fix the animation saved from Weibo account, so this is more than that. Fix the galleries, okay, some people were having problems that the pictures on the gallery were not uh, displaying properly, so this update fixes that. Fix the problems where you can use air trigger squeeze functions when opening some games in the landscape mode. So fix that too, and fix the problem where time info on the ASUS status bar disappeared when receiving a call or unlocking the device. So fix that too. Uh, there might be there might be also some other fixes that, that were not explained here. So if ever, just let me know on the comments below on which fe uh, features or bugs which were fixed for your device. So anyway, I'll be linking the description below on the for, for the WW firmware because as you can see this is on a Chinese firmware but I, uh, I already have the WW link which I'll be putting down below it has the same change logs as to update so just download the file it's the uh, same size about 2 gig as soon as you download it it will be on your download folder so from here just transfer it to your internal storage just transfer it to your internal storage here it should be right there below no need to rename or anything just leave it there and restart your device and we'll see what happens right after I restart my device okay so I'll be back right after I restart my device and let's see what happens so right now I'm at 2002.32 version so let's see what happens after I restart my device okay I'll be back see you in a while okay so I just restarted my device and as you can see the system update file detected is right over here just click on that and select the update package and that will update your system automatically so up there we're at one percent so some so just a reminder for everyone again uh, a lot of people has been asking me why can't they upgrade to Android uh, Android 10 for you to be able to update to Android 10 from an Android 9 phone you must be on the 1910.64 firmware if you're not on that firmware, you won't be able to upgrade on Android 10. So if you're on other Android 9 firmware before that, be sure to upgrade first on the 1910.64 before going to Android 10. And yes, you can skip updates as long as you can jump straight to 1910.64 and from there you can skip right on to the latest update of Android 10. And also for those uh, people who's been asking about battery life, uh, yes, Android 10 consumes more battery life than Android 9. So for me, it's not a big deal. 
as I said in my previous videos, I'm more concerned about the security patches than having a long battery life and leaving my phone vulnerable. Okay, so it's up to you if you want long battery life, you can go for Android 9. If you're more concerned about the security of your phone, you can just go straight to Android 10. Okay, so we just wait for the update to finish. Right now it's at 35%. Then hopefully after the update, our software here would be different. It would be 2004 already instead of a 2002 version. So let me know what what other problems you're having with your Android 10. I'll try to reply to you as uh, best I could. Uh, you know, with the issue here in the Philippines having, uh, I, I think worldwide about the pandemic of the coronavirus, I, internet is a very crappy, so I'm not really online as much as possible as I wanted to be, because there's a lot of people using the internet, and the internet in the Philippines is, you know, really not that good. So, but still. I do my best to answer your questions. So we're at 71%. Uh, let's see. Let's just wait for the update to finish. Uh, so far, for me personally, I'm not having any uh, major issues on my Android 10 device ever since I updated it. Battery life is uh, a given. As I said earlier, it's more faster, but not that fast, you know. I usually get a let's say 12 hour screen on time on my Android 9 and on Android 10 I usually get about 11 hours 10 and a half to 11 hours so it's not that big a deal for me okay so we're at 88 percent let me know whatever issues you're having on your phone or whichever uh, let's say bugs this this uh, update brings or fixes for you and hopefully Asus will still continue to push some updates to our phone uh, as we all know they're not the best in pushing updates so I don't know with Asus what's going on with them so we're at 90, 97 98 99 Okay, so right after this update completes, I'll be restarting my device and I'll get back to you again and let's see whatever uh, performance issues or this fixes right out of the, let's say, right out of the box, so to say, right after the update. So it's system update successful, please restart your device. So I'll get back to you in a while, okay? Let me just restart this system update successful so we have updated the system successfully let's check our version on the settings system about phone and as you can see we're at 2004.60 and hopefully this fixes some issues on our phone so let me know in the comments down below uh, if it ever fixes it or whatever problems you're having uh, thank you again so much guys for subscribing to my channel and hit the like button if you like the video comment down below on whatever issues you're having and until next time I hope I was able to help you guys in updating your software thank you so much and till next time okay bye